Hello my dear students, today I am here with one more video, here I am uh, going to explain Thorndike's law of learning. If you have seen my earlier video, there I have explained trial and error theory of learning and these laws are based on that theory. So you can see that we have two categories of laws, primary laws and secondary laws. So primary laws, um, there we have law of readiness, law of effect, law of exercise and secondary laws we have law of primacy, law of intensity, law of recency, law of multiple response, law of attitude, law of analogy and law of associative shifting. So uh, in this video I will explain these uh, primary laws, three laws uh, and in later videos I will cover up the secondary laws. So let's see what law of readiness is. If the child is ready to learn, he or she learns more quickly, effectively and with greater satisfaction than if he or she is not ready to learn. So uh, so a ready, the uh, state of readiness is very much important in a teaching learning process. So when we talk about a child is ready or not ready, that means the child need to be physically fit, mentally sound and emotionally stable okay a sick child will not be able to learn properly a mentally unstable child or emotionally disturbed child will not uh, be able to grasp properly okay and also the teacher here needs to take care of the various demands or, or need of the learner that means the emotional need mental physical needs are all fulfilled in but the physiological need, need uh, should also be taken care of like the child shouldn't be hungry okay uh, apart from that uh, this the situation has to be congenial for example child should get all the study starting equipments like books copies pen paper table chair everything has to be there all the situation has to be positive so that this positivity will create a drive and motivation and the child will be interested in learning so law of readiness here uh, implies in other situations as well not only in teaching learning process for example adjustment see ad adjustment is also a process of learning okay you want to adjust to a new situation for example uh, you uh, you have to go somewhere for your further studies. You have to stay there. You have to stay in a, host, a hostel or a rented apartment, whatever you uh, choose. You have to find out uh, the condition out there, the situation out there. Okay, what kind of room you're going to get, what kind of room uh, mates you're going to get, what kind of food habits you have to adjust with. Okay, what are the timings of water, electricity, everything. So even if uh, some aspects are negative out there, you will adjust yourself to that negativity. You make yourself ready to deal with that, with those negative uh, aspects. Okay. So law of readiness is very important here to, for the process of adjustment and also for the process of learning. So next we'll see the law of effect. So law of effect is nothing but it is learning through consequences okay law of effect something happens a learning process takes place and what happens after that what kind of result that learning process comes out with so in the situation when the child meets failure or is dissatisfied the process of learning is blocked so if the learning process is not good or learning process dissatisfies the child Okay, that means the child is uh, uh, fails after uh, working hard. The learning is bro blocked. The child will not uh, remember because the situation, the experience itself is unpleasant. So child will not remember it. All pleasant experience. Okay, this is pleasant. Okay, I f forgot to type L here. That's my mistake. All pleasant experience have a lasting influence and are remembered for a long time. So. Pleasant experience, when the outcome is very satisfying and pleasant, it will be remembered. The situation, the learning will be remembered for a long time. But the unpleasant experience will not help to do so. Okay. But this law of effect is not always uh, necessary to be there. According to Thorndike himself, in 1930, he uh, kind of modified this uh, uh, this law 
because in situations like uh, when you are taking some uh, competitive exams like UPSC or NET okay uh, you fail in first attempt second attempt third attempt but still you do not get demotivated you still want to give us uh, one more try so here failure is not blocking your learning failure is doing nothing here because you are motivated so much that uh, the strength of the motivation or drive is so so much that the unpleasant experiences are overshadowed okay so it's not always necessary to win sometimes failure will also motivate an individual to learn better so next we have law of exercise so law of exercise uh, is like uh, is repetition of certain activity okay so under this we have law of use and law of disuse it means that any activity any uh, response which are repeated okay will be remembered for example you are memorizing a poetry or a multiplication you have to repeat it you have to repeat a poetry okay to remember it to uh, strengthen the association and here in law of disuse if you do not repeat okay if you do not uh, repeat a poetry or multiplication uh, the association will not uh, be strong okay you uh, you will forget so here uh, another example is learning to type learning how to use typewriter or riding a bicycle or dance you are learning to use a typewriter but you do not want to continue if you do not want to continue you uh, uh, your association will not get strong the association between uh, the, uh, the typing of the keys and memorizing uh, those keys in your uh, mind that association will not get strong and you forget okay but later on if you again want to try it then you will be able to do it and again you have to undergo a drill so drill and exercise repetition is very much important in memorizing a certain knowledge a certain skills so these are the three primary laws of Thorndike's trial and error theory of learning and in next video I will be doing secondary laws of learning.